Oh, hi there, uh, my loyal, committed assholes. I mean friends, I mean YouTube subscribers. Uh, gonna talk a little bit about Justin Trudeau. Uh, look, I ain't done my research. Uh, I don't have time for that, and there's nowhere really I can go to learn about him that wouldn't, you know, give me the runaround, waste my time anyway. Uh, I try to watch the news here and there, but, you know, I have 11 hour work days and uh, I'm on medication or was on medication still recovering from uh, that causes drowsiness. So, uh, you know, I don't have a lot of awake time when I'm not at work uh, to research stuff. So I tend to um, watch media that I enjoy rather than uh, research uh, guys like Justin Trudeau. Uh, okay, look, what I gotta say about him is, sure, he's worked very hard to get to where he is. Uh, he has to have balls of steel to do the job he does. Kind of like Margaret Thatcher. Uh, a lot of people like him. Um, I'm sure he's a very reasonable and very caring man in a lot of ways. But he, uh, he most definitely has a mean streak running through him. Uh, although I've not much seen that side of him, I don't think uh, many of us common everyday schmucks have. Uh, I remember one time when he was uh, clearly winning in the election and uh, Tom O'Claire was falling apart. Uh, it was almost like he, he had like an aura about him, almost uh, a little bit evil uh, kind of an aura. Um, he was confident, and he didn't really say anything specifically that I remembered, but uh, I remember the atmosphere of that uh, interview he was having, or it wasn't an interview, it was, you know, whatever he was doing, he was talking to people. Um, I, I've got some disagreements with him. First off, I don't care who you are, if you uh, come out and say, I'm a feminist, uh depending how far you want to get into that topic, um, we're not going to like each other. Uh, I don't care if you're a man, I don't care if you're a woman. You say you're a feminist, uh, we're not going to get along. Uh, because feminism to me uh, has not been about uh, women being liberated. It's not about equal rights. Um, it's been about taking my rights away. Uh, it's been about um, booting me in the balls as hard as you can. Uh, that's definitely what life has been about for me. I've had to work very hard for everything I've gotten and I'm still not exactly where I am, uh, where I want to be. Uh, well, Trudeau, uh, he lies, just like any politician. Uh, that comes with the territory, I don't blame him for that. But it's the structure of his lies that, uh, you know, I just cannot accept. And I have uh, seen, um, well, it's not graffiti, but uh, I, I don't know, like uh, people writing on dust on windows at, um, at uh, bus stops, uh, dump Trudeau. And uh, some people go, well, fuck Trudeau. And then probably some feminist or something like that came along and said, oh, because he's hot. He's actually not that good looking. I mean, he's not bad looking, but if you see some high def pictures of him, um, he's he's only human. Anyway, um, that uh, that Rosh uh, Hassan uh, girl, uh, she was able to speak in Parliament. I made a video a couple days ago about that. Um, something horrific must have happened to her for her to, her to get that opportunity, and. It should only get better from here on out for her, and you know, I, I don't have anything against her, really. Um, I feel bad for whatever it is that happened to her, though I don't know what it is, and I've not researched into what it could be. Uh, I just take the word that she, um, uh, she had the right to be there. But Trudeau used her to uh, further his political goals which was, he wants to bring in refugees. Uh, I mean, although the truth is, we, there aren't that many refugees coming in. Like on the news, you would think that they're everywhere. 
but they're clearly not. Uh, I doubt I've even met a refugee. Uh, I, I don't agree with it, so I, you know, I'm not in any kind of hurry to do so. Uh, I remember on uh, Donald Trump's uh, inauguration, uh, for the few days afterwards, I was wearing the Donald Trump hat, and um, I rocked it uh, uh, for a few days, and I still have it. It's a cherished item of mine. Nobody said a fucking word about it. Not a fucking word, no matter where I went. But it was funny, because uh, the first day I wore it, uh, on my way into work, uh, I happened to see um, the young woman uh, wearing the stupid pink hat that um, that they'd been wearing. Uh, I don't know if they noticed me or not. I noticed that and didn't say anything to them. Uh, it's got nothing to do with me wearing the Trump hat. Uh, I know on the news, uh, they're just, these anti-Trump protesters are having a big hissy fit. And uh, they're making themselves seem louder and more populous than they actually are. Just because the media has a slant on uh, Trump. Uh, I did see uh, a day or two later on my way to work, uh, two women uh, wearing hijabs. And I, I did hear them giggle and uh, they uh, were able to get across the lights and I wasn't. Uh, I didn't really try to um, because, uh, you know, I couldn't be bothered. Like, uh, I might actually be developing asthma if anyone cares. Uh, because uh, running has gotten a lot more difficult for me. And, um, yeah, so I, I try not to run anymore. I, you know, if I have to move fast, I'll um, conserve my energy and, you know, go at as fast a pace as I need to at that particular moment. But anyway, that's all aside. Uh, I wanted to continue talking about Justin Trudeau. Um, he is really pushing uh, this refugee program. Yes. Uh, these are, you know, they're poor individuals and they're just fleeing hardship and uh, they give you the waterworks and they bring you depressing stories of how they've just been punished their whole lives for doing nothing wrong and they just, you know, want a better life and, you know, all that kind of stuff's understandable but at the same time you can't really be certain um, of what it ex exactly is that they want. And you can't be certain that they don't just change their minds eventually. I'm sure they've gone through rigorous screening pro uh, process, but um, there are corrupt reasons for everything, especially in the government. And, um, you know... Um, People are getting better and better and better at lying. And um, there are uh, warlords, particularly in those uh, Muslim countries, that uh, will do anything to get back at us. And um, they feel that they have some grievance against us. And uh, we've had you know, centuries, if not thousands long, uh, feud between us. Uh, we don't like each other, and it is Trudeau is right in saying, let's, you know, open to reason, uh, let's try to um, turn to a new chapter, and uh, really try to resolve this, but he knows that's just not the way it works uh, in these uh, places that uh, these uh, refugees are coming from. So the thing is, he's not actually letting in that many. Uh, like I said, I've never met one as far as I know. Uh, maybe there's some secret Muslim I've accidentally met that I wouldn't have wanted to meet if I'd known anything about him. I have no idea. That might just be paranoia. But I'll tell you what I have seen a lot of. And I've had to grow up with uh, them around me my whole life. And that's Asians. They're everywhere. And uh, a lot of them have money. A lot of them have a flagrant disregard for um, the law and rules and uh, they know what they can get away with because uh, they're pack animals. Uh, they all live in their little communities and speak their language and they all know things. Uh, every one of them, or well, a lot of them, know a lawyer, they know um, a doctor, they know this, that. 
it's a very uh, tight-knit community actually and uh, they hoard information and money to themselves and there is an underlying racism from Asian people towards white people and I've had to uh, feel the brunt of that my whole life I've been excluded from uh, social uh, gatherings um, you know uh, actually having a regular life like I don't live an ordinary life and it's feminists, it's Asians, for me, that have caused this problem. And I'm not the only white guy that's had to uh, put up with this kind of stuff. Uh, there have been people hating on uh, guys like me since, um, since they first laid eyes on us. And uh, sure, um, like, from my perspective, I live in a nice house, I got nice stuff. Nobody cares about my problems. I suffer in silence, as I mentioned in my other video. Um, but no longer. And um, I'm going to wake people up to uh, the reality of uh, what's going on. We're not living in an age of equality. We're not living in an age without prejudice. It's just disguised. It's just in a different form. And it's just directed at different people. And Justin Trudeau promotes that. He is not against racism. He is not against excluding people. Uh, he is not against bullying. They may say that, but they're just corrupting the English language. Because you have to understand that uh, the English language, um, there's different dialects of it. Uh, certain words mean different things to different people because the um, context in which they occur is different. Maybe some people have a better vocabulary than other people. And uh, people will use words and twist your words. And um, it's underhanded. With me, ain't nobody got the balls to say anything to my face. Unless they know they have the upper hand. And uh, they keep it as vague as possible. So that I can't learn exactly what it is they're really arguing with me about. And um, I don't know what's going on. And because the thing is, if I knew all the facts, I knew what everything was going on, I could slap them silly about their argument. Like, they don't stand a chance against me in a debate. Uh, from my situation, I can tell you right now that there are screwed up things going on, and it's an underhanded Jew boy thing to do. Um, I just, I, I don't have respect for people who can't, uh, you know, deal with people directly. They always got to stab them in the back or, you know, tattle on them or talk about them behind their back. And this is Canadian mentality. It's been like this my entire life. I don't know about before my life because uh, history is shrouded in mystery and um, confusion. Don't know exactly what's going on. Um... But like I said, uh, we're living in an age where um, the, all these bad things are just shaped differently than they used to be. I think, anyway, I wouldn't even know because I, you know, I've only been here X amount of years. I'm just saying from my perspective that things aren't right here. There's still problems and these problems will get worse if people let them. Um, Sure, the white man was uh, at the top of the totem pole for many, many years. Uh, and there are a lot of people who want to kick us in the balls and put us at the bottom of the totem pole. Uh, if people like me have to stand up and say, no, um, the chain of command is not going to get rewritten. Sure, uh, we'll tinker around with some things. Something's got to change. Um, we could do things better. But, um, as a whole, um, not much is going to change. Um, obviously there's been some great wrongs that have happened in, uh, Canadian society and the society of the world. But a lot of those places that, uh, start demonizing us, telling us how wrong we are and all the bad things we do, ain't ones to talk for themselves. Anyway, getting back to Trudeau. Uh, the guy's got a mean streak about him. Uh, 
him being an outright feminist, he would join in in kicking me in the balls. And not just him, um, the acolytes below him who think he's the greatest guy and are basically followers and, you know, emulate his example. So, you know, you go down the line where I am, where I'm just a low-level foot soldier of the Illuminati, and I got to deal with, you know, cunts and... Uh, that doesn't, that's not a sexual term, look, I, I'm part English, it's not, it doesn't necessarily mean a sexual thing, it just means somebody who, um, who you don't particularly like, who's trying to cause you problems, really, that's more what I associate with the word with, rather than the uh, sexual organ of a woman, uh, anyway, there are people out there that cause me problems on a continual basis, and, um, they don't fight fair, and they fight dirty, and um, uh, they've made my life a lot more difficult than it had to be, and uh, they've made a mountain out of a molehill, and um, didn't have to be that way. Didn't have to be that way at all. They could have just talked to me like I was a human being, and with a little bit of respect, and... Um, you know, my situation didn't have to bubble into the what it did, but no, they didn't. They didn't want that. They wanted, uh, uh, they wanted me to, as I said in another video, they wanted me to wither away and die. They wanted me to disappear. They wanted me to go away. They wanted me to be silent. Uh, they wanted to be able to discriminate against me and then call me the bully, say that I'm the one being abusive. Excuse me. Fuck off. You're wrong. You're just wrong. And, um, the thing is, uh, Trudeau didn't actually say much about the, um, election in the States between Hillary Clinton and, uh, Justin Trudeau. Um, the more I think about it, the more I go, how scary things would have been had, uh, Hillary Clinton had won. Um, for a guy like me, uh, it would have meant certain doom uh, in the sense that they cast and um, it goes from the top all the way down, like the fish rots from the head up, the head down or whatever, however the Russians say it. And um, uh, the people below her would have been pushing me down further and further. And um, like, I, I don't have a giant head here. I'm not trying to say that they even know of my existence. But, saying that, their acolytes um, have desire to um, silence me. They have desire to make me go away. Because they don't like my opinions. Don't like what I have to say. And, uh, you know, sorry if I just don't want to disappear. I know, um... That sounds a bit hypocritical because you go, well, in other videos, you've said that you're a white supremacist and there have been white supremacists in the past that uh, have wanted to completely eliminate uh, other cultures, at least within their own, um, you know, sphere of um, social activity. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't have a problem with other cultures like... Like, I like East Indian food. Uh, I like sushi. Don't like Chinese food, though. Chinese food's disgusting. I'm going to be honest with you. It just is. Even Western uh, Chinese food is disgusting. Because you got to understand, there is a difference between Western uh, Asian food and actual Eastern Asian food. That's something a, a lot of Canadians don't understand. It's a very simple concept. They don't eat the same things here as they do back in Asia. But, um, yeah, I, I don't have a problem. As long as I don't feel like I'm outnumbered by them, as long as I don't feel like they're uh, under underlyingly taking over everything, which has been the feeling my whole life that uh, this, this, all this rhetoric about equality, pro-choice, this, that, and the other, that's not really what it is. What it translates into is old whitey man is out of power and they are in power 
It's not about sharing power. It's about them taking power away from us. And, you know, you'll get a lot of feminists going, no, that's not what it's about. It's about equality. Blah, blah, blah. It's about pro-choice. You're lying. It's as simple as that. You continue to lie. And uh, you think just because you say something that it automatically makes it true. Well, it doesn't. It didn't trick me. I don't believe you. And I'm never going to believe you. Uh, because I can see you for what you really are. You're just a lying, manipulative um, scumbag. And, um, you know, um, I just, I don't blame them for wanting a fair shake on things. Uh, I don't blame them for uh, saying, hey man, you, you whiteies, you've been mean in, the, in years past. Uh, you've been bullies, you've not always been right about things. This is all true. But, um, the world wasn't perfect, and it still isn't. It's still a work in progress, and, uh, we, uh, the direction, uh, some people want this world to go in, uh, unfortunately, I disagree. And I disagree with the politics of, uh, of, um, the education system in particular. Uh, I felt like it was a great wrong against me. Um, in a way, um, in a way, hardship, uh, can make you a stronger person. It can, uh, toughen you up for, uh, future, um, issues that you're going to have to deal with in life. And, uh, I feel like I'm up to the challenge that I, I really can do my thing, be successful, and no regrets. I'm not worried about a thing. And, uh, you know, just about anything you ask me, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I think right now. Uh, some people go, oh no, I gotta, I gotta have counsel. I gotta have people I talk to first, you know, just to reassure that I'm, I'm not looking stupid here. No, I'm confident. I know that um, exactly what I've got to say um, and I what I'm saying here is Justin Trudeau I don't agree with you on a number of things and um, although uh, as I said I didn't do much research into exactly what it is you're all about I know you got a mean streak I know you do bad things. I know that's not what the media portrays. You're deceiving the foolish into thinking you're this awesome guy. And in some ways you are, but in other ways you're not. And, um, you know, anyone cares to ask me, I'll give them an honest opinion. Uh, I don't think you're that great a guy. Um, and I think the fact that you're trying to portray that you are and let's face facts, he has a hand, uh, well, more than a hand, in uh, the uh, Canadian media. And the Canadian, Canadian media is totally slanted against Donald Trump. And it's been slanted against the states since uh, way before Trump became president. And, uh, you know, I just don't like the atmosphere. Uh, I don't like the ideas that are being pushed. Sure, you need... Uh, uh, distraction. You need people to be uh, not exactly coherent on what the problems are in the world because they just can't comprehend them. But you can keep people, uh, you know, their mind active and uh, keep them interested in things and, you know, get them to learn about stuff that's interesting, uh, but not in the way that uh, they've been doing it. And when I say they, I mean this uh, secret organization of people who exclude people, uh, who differ in opinions in them, and uh, make decisions, don't ask you, and don't inform you, they just do them. Justin Trudeau supports that kind of shit. He uh, has no problem with just doing things and not telling you because he thinks he's so much smarter, he's so much more informed. Well, 
Maybe he is. Maybe he can uh, give me a bitch slap if it came to an open debate between me and him because of my lack of uh, information. Because I don't have little creeps coming and crawling out of the walls telling me, oh, yeah, this is what's happened, that's what's happened. I have to formulate opinions on my own. And to be honest with you, if he were in my situation with the resources I have and the way I've been treated, I don't think he would perform as well as me. I don't think he'd be able to think as well as I do. Uh, I think, given my uh, situation, that uh, I've accomplished quite a lot. And I ain't no whiny crybaby either. I'm not going to bitch about it. And in the future, particularly when my throat heals up, I'd really like that to happen soon. Uh, you know, I'm going to look back at it and go, well, that was not good. Uh, I'm definitely going to learn something from it. But uh, I'm not going to walk around with a scar my whole life about it. And I ain't going to cry a river about it. Um, so, as I'm saying, um, a lot of this has to do with just this general atmosphere, the cult of personality, uh, and all that entails. Uh, so... Uh, you know, I'm a player here. If I got to rumble with some uh, low levels uh, to get moving forward, I ain't got no problem with that. Uh, it'll just be practice for when I climb the ladder. Anyway, been good talking to you guys. I'll uh, see you later.